I started an online business and became successful in only like 30 days. I started a couple businesses, went through some low points and high points of making multiple five figures per month and feeling like a king. This is sort of how it all happened. So the first business I got into was one where I was buying, building and selling different Instagram accounts. I was making a couple hundred dollars per month by basically owning Instagram pages that had a couple hundred thousand followers each. And from those pages, I made money basically shouting out different brands or projects that wanted to get shouted out. The reason I didn't like this business though was because it was pretty boring and repetitive. I mean, I didn't really have to do anything outside of find viral videos and repost them. That's it. And I'll get millions of views and that was it. It felt like a boring way to make money and not to mention it wasn't even that much money I mean, I was making a couple hundred dollars, but every time I'd watch these YouTube videos I would see these kids making tens of thousands of dollars per week and hundreds of thousands of dollars per month And I just compared myself to them and saw that I wasn't really that successful And so I sold my Instagram theme pages for a couple thousand dollars and I moved straight into e-commerce And so I started watching a ton of e-commerce videos now of how I could get started with dropshipping Affiliate marketing all of these different side hustles and I kept watching these kids flexing their Lamborghinis Rolexes and all these different things that they were doing and the more I watched them, the more I realized something, which is that these guys are pretty normal people. And that if they could do it, if they could find success online, then so could I. And that's kind of what I want you guys to realize. That the people online who are making this much money aren't the smartest or have any advantages that you don't have. They simply have a Wi-Fi connection, a laptop, and they have an insane work ethic that allows for them to actually succeed online. Literally, if you have a Wi-Fi connection, a laptop, and are willing to work hard, you can make six figures within the next two months. And after realizing that and having the mentality, I got started in e-commerce with a business model known as dropshipping. And that is basically where you sell products to customers, but have a third party supplier to actually house and ship those products to those customers. At this point, I was 16. I had about $2,000 in cash that I'd gotten from selling those different Instagram theme pages. And comparing myself to the e-com boys at the time, I was looking to become an e-com boy myself and become successful. And in only three months, I blew my entire $2,000 budget on this dream and wasn't even close to success. And I won't lie, this sent me into a mini depression. I mean, I spent the past two years of my life growing those different Instagram theme pages. And after they reached hundreds of thousands of followers, I sold them for $2,000 and blew it all. I mean, that was my life savings at the time. After feeling terrible for myself and beating myself up, the failures made me realize something which was at this point in my life, I only had one skill and that was growing Instagram theme pages and that I needed to leverage my skills to actually see success instead of going for the flashy six figures from dropshipping with Facebook ads. And once I figured that out, the game changed. I went into zombie mode. I mean, I knew what I had to do now. I mean, previously I didn't like growing Instagram accounts because it was pretty repetitive and boring, but now it had a purpose. The purpose of me growing my Instagram pages was to get as many followers as humanly possible so I can sell those followers a product and so the next thing I did was I grew three new Instagram accounts in the zodiac girls niche of Instagram which is basically a side of Instagram that girls follow that kind of tell them if their zodiac sign do certain things or not I know mumbo jumbo but I was in there to make cash that's all I wanted to do and so I grew those Instagram theme pages to a couple hundred thousand followers each in the girls zodiac niche and it was now time to make as much money as humanly possible because I did have a product to sell those girls I went up to Shopify and built my Shopify store. And then I decided to go ahead and sell this golden Zodiac necklace to women all over the world. It was a nice cheap necklace that I was getting from China for $1 and selling on my website for $10 through AliExpress. The necklace is a custom Zodiac necklace. So basically whatever your Zodiac sign is, you can get a necklace with that exact Zodiac sign around your neck. And that was basically the marketing angle. I mean, these girls all believed in Zodiac signs. And so I sold them a product that was kind of going to help them believe more, I guess. So after spending months growing my my different Instagram theme pages in this niche, I now decided to launch this product and sell this necklace. And we got a ton of visitors to our Shopify store, but we had no sales and no money made. And this gutted me. It sent me into another mini depression because I mean, I'd spent months and months growing these pages and putting all this effort in to see something and I got no sales from it. It felt like a complete failure, like I'd wasted a huge amount of time for no reason. But I had to figure it out. And the reason I had to figure it out was because I had no other choice. I mean, at this point, I'd spent all of my money on this dream and had no other skills outside of growing followers. So I needed to figure out how that skill was going to make me money. And so there were a couple things that I had to troubleshoot before I could actually see success. And the first was the necklace. 
necklace. I mean, the necklace was a cheap necklace from China. No one buys $10 necklaces because everyone thinks they're gonna break in two months. So I went back to AliExpress and tried to find a better, higher quality necklace that did the exact same thing. And the next thing that we did, we added upsells of $50 and $100 necklaces to make our brand look much more premium. We built a better website to also make our brand look much more premium and like you were gonna get the best golden necklace in the world. And after doing this, on the third day, we immediately made our first sale. I couldn't believe it. I mean, this was the best feeling in the world. Hearing that cha-ching sound from Shopify and seeing that first sale made me so incredibly happy. I mean, I've been working for months and months towards that. And now that I finally had it, I knew that this whole drop shipping, making money online thing was possible. I mean, that Shopify sale is kind of like a proof of concept that this isn't just some elaborate scam that doesn't work, but selling products online actually is real. And once I realized that, I went crazy. I mean, I did everything I could to get that feeling again. I tried to get more and more followers on my Instagram page because I knew that I was gonna drive them into my store. I started posting about our product every single day. I barely slept some days because I was literally chasing this feeling. And literally, we went from $34 on day one to eventually making tens of thousands of dollars within the next month and months after that. And the best part about this entire thing was the fact that I get to keep most of the profits because I didn't spend anything on marketing pretty much. Because I owned the traffic. Now, the best part is that you can do this all for yourself and much faster than I was able to do it because you don't have to spend months and months growing these different Instagram theme pages, but you can instead use TikTok to explode your Shopify stores in a matter of days. That's the world we live in now, where one viral TikTok that gets a million views can make you tens of thousands of dollars. And if you want to get started with that, then you should go ahead and check this video out. With all that said, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the story and peace.